Today on Tracro Studios, we take a look at the Dan Electro DJ15 Chicken Salad Vibrato. So quickly, let's look at the knobs of this pedal. We have intensity and speed, which is quite self-explanatory. Don't really need to explain what those do. It does exactly what it says it does. Right now, we're gonna show you some sound samples with clean and a little bit of a driven sound with the Fender Super Reverb. Thank you. 
So this concludes my review of the Danelectro DJ15 Chicken Salad Vibrato. This is a Univibe style of effect. Sounds beautiful. It's really luscious. Really, really love this pedal. Uh, I didn't really think I needed a vibrato until I actually plugged into my Super Reverb that actually had vibrato built into the amp. And that thing sounds awesome and you instantly find a use for that effect. This is no different. This is a beautiful sounding effect and definitely worth the bang for the buck back in the 90s. Now, where this pedal isn't produced anymore, people are charging an arm and a leg for this pedal. So if you can find this pedal for cheap, it's definitely worth the bang for the buck. A lot of people do mod these as well where they'll put a hole up here and then they have uh, the pot inside that they can actually manipulate with a screwdriver to change around a little bit of the effect. Now another hidden gem that's very hard to find as well if you can find it is the Rocky Road Spinning Speaker. These are definitely the two hardest pedals to find in that series. So if you find either of those, make sure you go out and grab it. You won't be disappointed. So I hope I helped you distinguish if this is a pedal that's right for you or not. Until next time, I'm Kevin of Tricro Studios. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.